just as I hit record, the wind picked up like crazy. It is trying to pour down rain out here right now. And there are like little dots of raindrops on the roofs and, uh, and on the ground out here and everything. But it has yet to pour down rain. I hope it's going to. Because I'm right in the perfect spot to watch it. Good morning, everybody. I am just kicking back here on the porch, waiting for this rain. According to the weather, there's like an hour where it's supposed to rain, and that's about it. So listen to the wind chimes going crazy. I hope you can even hear me with all this wind blowing around. But, uh, but what I was thinking about this morning and what I want to talk to you guys about is I'm always talking about paying it forward and doing something for somebody else. And I feel like I'm in a position with two other channels where I can really help their channels out and I really feel that they deserve it. These are a couple channels that I've been watching for a little while now and, uh, and they're just, they never cease to amaze me. You know, it's really difficult to get subscribers on YouTube. And the reason is because you have to be able to get your content out in front of people. But not just any people, it has to be YouTubers. It has to be people who are already actively on YouTube and watching videos. Sharing on Twitter helps a little bit. Sharing on Facebook helps a little bit. It helps more with views, because I will literally get you know, hundreds if not thousands of views from some Facebook groups. But in looking through my analytics, I can see how many subscribers I got from sharing a certain video on Facebook groups. So like one video I did recently, it had like 600 views just from me sharing on one specific Facebook group and I got two subscribers. You guys see my subscribers are at like, I don't know, 2,700 now, maybe not quite that much. and. It is moving like a snail. I put out so much content and I put so much thought and time and effort into that stuff and I think my videos are good and you guys tell me all the time how good my videos are and I have people telling me all the time that I should have more subscribers and blah blah blah. But the trick is getting your videos in front of other YouTubers who are already on YouTube watching videos. There's a few ways to do that. Number one, thumbs up on the videos. The more thumbs up, the better. The more interaction that your videos show within the first hour of it being posted, the better. Because that will tell YouTube's system that people are interested in this video and it will begin to push the video out there. The same with comments. Comments show interaction. And even though it's important all the time, and I, I like the comments because I like to communicate with you guys, the first hour is the most pertinent time because, like I said, it shows interaction, it lets the system know that people like your video, and so they will start pushing it out there. So this morning I was watching these guys' videos, and I thought, you know what, I can do something for these guys. I can help them get some more subscribers on their channel, where I know that that is a difficult thing to do. So I'm going to tell you about those two channels right now. The one is called Explore Fever. It's X-P-L-O-R. F-E-V-E-R. A guy named Fred, and he finds some of the most amazing places. I don't know if he just gets in his car and starts driving until he finds these places, but he blows me away with these things that he finds. Like an abandoned caboose just out in the middle of nowhere. Um, abandoned hotels, all kinds of things. It just absolutely blows me away. So I'm gonna put a link at the end of this video for his channel as well as the next one I'm going to tell you about, which is called Too Deep Exploring. It's two younger guys who are out there exploring some of the most awesome stuff I've ever seen. I absolutely love their videos as well. They most recently went to an abandoned airplane graveyard, cemetery, whatever you want to call it, like in the middle of a desert. I mean, they took a plane, they rented a car, they went to the middle of the desert to find this thing, and they're out there exploring these abandoned planes that are full of bees. <laughs> I'm really envious of these guys because I, some place I've been wanting to go for the longest time is the Mike Tyson Mansion in Southington, Ohio. I have not made it there yet. It is owned by a church now, and they're taking their good old time getting it up and running as a church. But these guys went there. Oh my God, you scared the hell out of me. I'm filming. 
Okay, yeah, so these guys went there and they were basically given like full access to the property to explore as long as they wanted to. They got to play basketball for hours on the Mike Tyson court. Well, I won't tell you about the video. You'll just have to go watch it for yourself, but it's really awesome. I totally envy them for being able to do that. Um, that's one place I've wanted to get to for a long time and I just haven't yet. I'm gonna put the links at the end of this video for you guys to jump over to their channels, subscribe to their channel, leave them a comment, give them a thumbs up on a video. You don't have to tell them that I sent you. I would just love to see their channels blow up in subscribers. Let's try to get them at least a hundred subscribers overnight. Let's try to get those guys each a hundred new subscribers by tomorrow morning's video. That would be so awesome. And like I said, you don't have to tell them that I sent you. I don't care. I just want to see their channels get some more attention because they totally deserve it. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to kick back here and keep watching for this rain. It looks like it's starting to sprinkle, and I really hope we have, like, a huge thunderstorm. That would be so bad. So wherever you guys are waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward. Go over, subscribe to those guys' channels. Let's get them each 100 subscribers overnight. That would be an awesome surprise for them, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.